Today I'm going to talk about this LED matrix I made. This is 7 by 7 and this is made with a WS2801 LED string. These are 8 millimeter through hole uh, diodes, RGB diodes, which can be controlled uh, serially using SPI, an SPI bus through all of them, and then you latch the RGB data into those uh, LEDs. And uh, these uh, light a bit uh, bright, not the, the brightest ones, but uh, they can definitely be used. And in this case, I decided to use them as a uh, large uh, screen RGB LED 7x7 matrix. So let's hook it up to uh, an Arduino, where I've currently made a Plasma Dino. Some of you might be familiar with the Plasma uh, demonstration that scrolls and fades some colors. And next I'll show you the snake game I made with a PlayStation controller as a joystick, and then uh, the, the little snake, green snake, on these RGB uh, LEDs. Here I've got the ITET Duino ADK, which is an Arduino Mega similar board, or Arduino Mega ADK similar board, with the USB host uh, connector. But currently I've just connected the LED string, the data and clock wire output, and programmed the plasma demonstration. And as you can see, the demonstration is running. And uh, you might notice this LED um, can't emit red, so it's a bit odd. But it's because the, the red color in this LED is broken. Let me turn down the light, the exposure a bit, so you can see it better. And currently, it is only running uh, a 7x7 plasma, but divided into a larger area of 16x16 uh, 16 16 pixels. Uh, but this could be expanded even more, making better resolution and better fading. Uh, but it would require much more RAM, which uh, we don't have on the Arduino Mega or Arduino ADK. So instead, we could put this on an ARM and uh, make a much smoother uh, fading plasma display demonstration. But uh, this is the just to give you an idea of how this LED matrix works. Now I'll program the, um, the snake demonstration I've made into the ADK board, plug in the Bluetooth dongle and then let's uh, play a bit of snake. And now for the snake demonstration. Here I've plugged in the USB Bluetooth uh, EDR compatible dongle into the ADK board and I've got my PlayStation 3 DualShock uh, controller so I'll turn this on and let it connect to the board and now it's connected so we go to the front where we take our controller and press the start button which will start our snake game. And then I use the joystick to control this yellow thing to catch the red apple. And when I catch an apple, the snake gets one point, one dot longer, as you can see. Whoops, and then I hit the wall, so to restart the game, I press the start button, and we start again. And as you can see, the apple placement 
is being randomized. Uh, so both the place where the evil starts and also how many, uh, I mean how long time the evil stays at the location is uh, randomized using the random function of the Arduino uh, using an analog input seed. So you can have uh, a relatively fun game with this snake on this LED matrix, even though, whoops, now I hit myself, uh, even though it's only 7x7. Seven seven. Whoops, but my camera doesn't like it. But um, yeah, uh, as always, the code can be found at GitHub. So uh, please try and make your own LED matrix project. Thank you for watching. <laughs>